All right, Coach, a 73-33 win over Florida A&M today. Just give us your general thoughts on uh, the win. Uh, thrilled. This is a coach's nightmare, the game before Christmas break. Uh, and you see it across the country, upsets uh, being had all over. Uh, I thought our focus, once we kind of got settled in in the first quarter, was really good. Uh, it was nice to be able to sub a little bit more. And I thought we had great energy off the bench. Um, Kendall came in in the first half and hit some big shots, finished with five assists as well. Uh, really, really happy with where we are from a non-conference side of things, sitting at 8-3. and three. And, and now the fun starts going into Mac play. Uh, you talked about, we did talk about last time about uh, non-conference and um, there was no expectations in terms of wins, but you said you're very happy with that. Uh, do you like where your team's headed head into Mac play uh, about a week from now? Yeah, it's so much of, of this first year is laying the culture and the standards and our fa foundation. Um, and, and I think every day we've talked about a growth process. And even if you have a bad practice or a bad quarter, what are we doing to bounce back? And I think the big thing is we have a confident 14 on our on our roster right now who are ready when their number's called. Um, they've battled through some adversity. I was just telling them in the locker room, we played a lot of different styles here in non-conference. We've played some teams that are pressed, some zone teams, some, some teams that have some really good three-point shooters. And that's really what non-conference is all about, to prepare you for MAC play. Uh, and I think we've seen a little bit of everything. Um, we've had some comeback wins. We've been down. Um, we've kind of sneaked a couple out that maybe we shouldn't have, have won. And all that is, is building, building your character um, that we can always reference when we get into January and February. You obviously had some big runs, and the offense was clicking with the other players. But I want, I want to ask you about your defensive effort tonight, because I thought, especially in the third quarter, I, I, they had four shots at one point in the third quarter, and you'd forced five turnovers against them. Right. I didn't think in the first quarter we were really imposing our will and, and doing some of the things we talked about. Um, and then in the second and third quarter, obviously, we, we held them to single digits in both quarters. And I thought we denied the wings a little bit better. Um, we fronted the post. Uh, we kept throwing bodies at them. They didn't quite have the depth um, that we had, which was to our advantage. And, and we're, we constantly, as much as our offense was clicking and you know 22 assists on 29 baskets, it really starts with our defense. And, and every day we're trying to get a little bit better. We're preaching it. We're talking about it. Um, we're starting to tweak a, a few things to help uh, game to game but but I think that was um, big like you said that was that was the main turning point of just our defense uh, being a lot better you mentioned the 22 assists on 29 buckets uh, and three different players with five assists what was kind of working as far as being able to run the offense through multiple players tonight. What people don't realize is FAMU, they're, they're like 24th in the country in, in steals and turnovers forced, and, and that was our key to the game, take care of the basketball. To only have um, really 11 turnovers um, to 22 assists was big. We, we talked about with a short turnaround, one day to prep um, after Indiana State, could we just be solid in whatever offense we were running, fake a pass to make a pass if you didn't feel like you could get it in some of their traffic and, and trapping, um, make a good decision. Um, um, and, and I think that showed, and, and the versatility of our team was really evident, uh, especially in, in quarters two to four. With non-conference behind you now, what does the next week look like as you guys get ready for an IU? I imagine they get to go home for a couple of days. Yeah, everybody's going to kind of go their separate ways. And I told them, get a lot of hugs and kisses from family and eat some bad food for a couple of days and, and have a lot of fun and, and don't think about basketball. The great thing about our group is I think they understand they'll be in the gym uh, a couple of days on their own back at home. Uh, and then we'll have plenty of time to get ready uh, for Northern Illinois on, on the first, uh, first day of MAC play. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, Kendall, quite a statement and non-conference play give up a season low in 33 points uh, fewest in I think five years uh, I guess what was the team's mindset coming into this one with Mac play right around the corner right right um, you know I think we were really excited to play just knowing that this was our last non-conference game um, and uh, we just we came out hard. We uh, we played together, and a big thing for us tonight is we really wanted to lock down on defense and, and let our defense fuel our game and fuel into our offense. You, know, you come off the bench and the shot was falling right away. Uh, hit your first seven shots. Uh, it's what was what was working for you um, as far as finding those openings and having the touch tonight. Right, right. Um, I think that mid range game uh, was you know working really well, and I think my teammates were. Uh, doing a really good job of, of finding me in the opening, um, you know, whether it was flashing in the middle. Um, I think we shared the ball really well, and I think that helped me to get my shot off. You mentioned the team picking it up defensively. You really wanted to D it up on mm -hmm. them, obviously, by the points you did that, but really forced a lot of turnovers, particularly uh, in that run in the uh, third quarter. You guys really D it up on them. Right, yeah. I mean, we wanted to come out at halftime, said, look, you know, we need to lock down. We need to get. Um, you know, get this run going, get the momentum going. Uh, so that was really our goal, was to come out strong, uh, you know, put a little more pressure on them and hopefully get some steals off of it. Is there a bit of a 
in internal groan when that uh, eighth shot uh, kind of rimmed out. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I'm fine with it. You know, just got to keep going. So uh, Northern Illinois coming in here to open MAC play in another week. Uh, I guess what's the, the game plan over the, the next week uh, with the holiday coming right. up? Right. I think we're, uh, you know, enjoying the holidays with our families, but also uh, being ready to come back and get down to business now with conference starting. So we're really excited. All right. Thanks, Kendall. Thank you.